Okay, for this next lesson, we're gonna go over how to post a video, a photo, a carousel um, that has graphic elements and an Instagram Reel, which is a newer thing that Instagram has. So we'll be creating one and also posting one. Now, as we're doing this, I want you to take what we're kind of putting together here and recreate it on your own Instagram or social media. And also again, realize that the way that we're posting on Instagram is very similar to how you can post on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. So uh, all of these features are very similar and we'll jump right into those screen shares right now. All right, so here's our home page and you can see our feed. We are all caught up. And so next we're going to use the top right button to the create button. We're going to select our video here, but also I wanted to take time to share. Expanding your video is really important. So there's a square option that is default and then there's the rectangle option that's best for video. For my video, I've exported it as a square, so no need to expand. The option isn't even there if you look. Something else that's also really important is picking your cover photo so that it looks good on your feed. Use that bottom right button cover and then scroll to see which picture you want to show up on your feed. I'm gonna break up my feed, add my hands in here. That's our cover photo. Share a little caption. Tools of the trade. And we'll also use that organic digital marketing option, add a hashtag. This will direct more people to our account. Add the location, San Diego. Who's ever posting in San Diego or using the hashtag digital marketing has a Solid chance of seeing our post if they're browsing those that location and that hashtag. And again, I created this Instagram so that you could see how I post, how I create content, and just to be a great backdrop slash canvas for what we're teaching. This video is just a, an example of some of the tools that I use to take photos, take video, uh, record audio. So these are those tools. And as you can see, these videos will loop themselves. So this will go right back to the beginning. There we are. And this is how we post videos. We'll go back to the home screen now. And you can see that my hands and those cover photos are great and they're in brand and it matches and everything looks cohesive, which is what we're always aiming for, continuity. For posting our photo, we are going to use the create button on the top left hand corner. Then we'll select post and we'll select our photo and expand it using the expanding button right there. Click next. And I do this thing where I develop my caption in my notes application and I copy and paste that into my captions. It's really helpful, not a lot of distraction and you can expand it, which isn't much of an option here. You have to scroll through the caption. Select your location using some of that organic digital marketing. And here we are. Go ahead and like the photo, kind of stirs up the algorithm. As you dig deeper into digital marketing, you'll hear a lot of folks talk about Instagram's algorithm and how it changes and who it favors. And so that is our photo. As you can see, it's uh, consistent with the other photos. So that's big here um, with your brand, voice, tone, content. Make sure there's continuity there. In the long run, as you develop your brand, that continuity is key. A carousel post consists of multiple photos or videos in one post. 
First, we'll click the Create button, then we'll click the Post button, and then we will pick the cover photo, which will show up on our feed, then the Select Multiple button, and then we'll go about selecting our photos. So I have these photos in an order. They are of the camera anatomy, so I will select them in the order that I'd like them to show up when you're swiping. And I mentioned swiping because the viewer will need to swipe through all of the photos on your feed to view them. Okay, then we'll click next. And here they are, you can swipe to preview them before you go to the next option. Good reminder is that you can also do this with videos as well. So we'll click next. And again, I am going to go into my notes to get my caption. Copy, paste. Paste here organic digital marketing we're gonna use the hashtag digital media and we're going to geotag the location as San Diego hoping that this is gonna drive more traffic to our post and so these have become very common within the last few months a lot of people are using infographics so just using each one of these slides to provide meaningful information for a cause or a movement um, this is a great format for this and this is kind of similar to what i did here with the aperture f-stop just demonstrating camera anatomy and what it looks like and here it is on our feed so it's consistent, it matches everything else. There is brand continuity there, and that is a carousel. A story is a 24 hour kind of highlight of something that's usually behind the scenes and it disappears after 24 hours. So today we're going to highlight or drive traffic to this post that we created earlier by posting it as a story. So we'll click story, then we'll swipe up and that'll allow us access to our photos library. And I made this graphic camera anatomy post, find it on our feed, again, driving traffic there. And that will be our story. So next we're going to add a location and we're gonna add a hashtag. So this is that uh, organic digital marketing, right? We're taking advantage of the tools that uh, Instagram and other social media platforms have available for us that is free hoping that people that are browsing those locations and hashtags will like ours as well. And so the goal here is that they will click on our posts, go to our feed and become a new follower. So this is why we do that. And so I'm doubling it up. I'm adding the location and the hashtag. So if you ever wanna get rid of something that you've created on your story, just drag it to the bottom center and let it fall into this trash can. For this situation, I don't want it to fall in the trash can, I just want it centered and at the bottom. And we'll post it now. And you'll see that our avatar up there is now highlighted in those Instagram colors, that pink, orange, and purple gradient that they have. And so next we'll click on it and that's our story right there. Next we'll make a highlight. So we'll click new, select this. We're gonna add a cover. I created a graphic for it. TNT for tips and tricks. So that'll live on our feed. And we'll name it tips and tricks. And this is where I will populate things like this so that folks can click on it and so that they can kind of dive deeper into my brand and what it is that we do. Now, all of these are actually archived. So if you ever wanted to make a highlight later in time, you totally could. Um, you would just go into your archive, select and add it to a highlight. And this is how you post a story. Um, 
dive deeper into it, post more stories, explore. The more you try, the more you'll learn and the more you can utilize this part of Instagram to drive traffic to your account. Okay, so right now we're going to post about Reels. So Reels are a response to TikTok, which is another social media platform that is doing really great. And what Instagram tends to do is copy what other people are doing well, and they incorporate it into their own platform so that they're still kind of the top dog of social media. So we'll go to the Create button, and then we will select Reel below. And then we'll make this a 30 second reel and then we'll swipe up to access our library. And I've already made these short clips that I'm bringing together. And this will be my first one. Tools for recording audio, click add. And we'll move on to the next one. And this is just a series of different tools that I use to record audio. And Reels are great. They are just a quick way to share something fun, entertaining, or really key in on some type of product or service you have. Right now, Instagram's really prioritizing them, so they'll put them in front of a lot of people. That's how they kind of... Uh, incentivize people to use their new products and services and so reels is the one right now we'll select this last clip add audio I know this Virgo um, song that is trending is appropriate for what I want to put together so I'm gonna lay that over the track and music is really a part of this reels format Okay, so now we have music. We'll click next and we'll preview before we share it. And so this is the video in its entirety. I think we're a little less than 30 seconds long. And as you can see, it's just a real quick way to share something fun. We'll click share too. Write our caption. Also this share to feed option down here at the bottom right. Um, you can turn that off or toggle it off if you don't want it to show up on your feed. Or you can toggle it on. It's good to keep it on the feed. I think it drives people to your reel. Then uh, better if you didn't add it on the feed. Now it's important to note that always be thinking about different ways to utilize all of these posting methods. As an idea comes up, you know, explore what it would look like as a carousel, as a reel, as just a single photo or a video. Just always know that you can use all of these things collectively to create something that is slightly different than what you created before and hopefully something that will intrigue a random person and have them become invested in what it is that you're posting regularly. Remember to use that organic marketing options that are available. Always use the hashtag, the geolocation. Um, I think the best thing that anyone can do to grow their following nowadays is to collaborate and partner with other people that are within their industry. And when you do this, you share audiences. And I just think that's so effective. So always be thinking about ways to coordinate and work with other people so that you can expand your audience base. And that concludes how to post your photo, video, carousel, and reel. Again, um, understand, realize that all platforms have similar means of sharing content. It just takes a little bit of exploration and tweaking in order to post on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and whatever social media platform that you're using.